So, it's been many months, close to a year, not quite, I think it happened in October. Uh, it's been many months since the fires, the wildfires in Northern California, which took over, which engulfed many of the buildings in this great town. Now, last time I shared any video that mentioned the fires, this area was completely fenced off. The Kmart that was here was burned down. Now, anybody with any common knowledge of how the businesses are going knows that there's that they're not going to bring Kmart back. That's just not going to happen. That business is struggling too much as it is. So, clearly they're gonna have to put something else here. But seeing how big of an area this takes kind of gets me thinking. Wow, Kmart was a lot bigger than I thought it was. Yes, I'm walking on it now, as you can see. It's not fenced off, so I'm pretty sure it's free to walk on. No one's claimed the property. But those of you from Santa Rosa should be familiar with this area. Um, there's the freeway, Windsor's that direction over there. They replaced, I don't know, remember what was originally there before, but um, it was taken out by the fires. They replaced whatever it was there with an El Pollo Loco, which we haven't had in Santa Rosa. The closest one was in Runner Park, and there was also one in Petaluma. But now we have one in Santa Rosa, which I'm happy about. I actually like a pollo loco. I try to avoid fast foods, but if I have to go to one, I'm hoping that the one that's available, I'm hoping the ones that are available are either Wendy's, Arby's, or a pollo loco. Those are my favorites. Wendy's is healthier than most of their burger places, and a pollo loco is actually one of the healthiest fast food chains you can actually ever go to. All their, uh, most of their food is flame grilled not deep fried. Anyways, that, that's off subject. But, I would like to point something out. What do you think would be a good idea? To, what do you think would be a good business to actually replace with, replace Kmart here with? I mean, first thing that came to my mind was Walmart. Have Santa Rosa finally have a Walmart, but then Windsor's right over there, and Walmart is right off the first exit. So that's probably not going to really help. Not to mention, getting to that Walmart would still be easier than getting to the one right here if you're driving on the freeway. The, the way the uh, freeway exits are set up here is very poor, to say the least. There's a huge gap between one freeway exit and the next. So it'd be kind of hard to get to it. It's actually, although, so this Walmart probably wouldn't be making that much business compared to the one in Windsor. Because <laughs> that one's incredibly easy to get to. It's just right off the freeway, right there. Um, however, here's an idea. I don't know entirely how well the hardware stores that exist are doing. I do know, as far as I'm concerned, the Home Depot is the biggest, most successful one. There's one way over there on Bicentennial up the hill next to a Lucky's grocery store. I mean, yeah, they could probably just put a grocery store here, I guess. That probably would do okay. Maybe like a Food Max or something. Not, a, not another Safeway. We have way too many of those in Santa Rosa. There's only one Food Max in Santa Rosa and one grocery outlet. And those are way cheaper than fucking Safeway. There's, we already have a Costco at the other side of town. And I don't think this would be an ideal location for a Costco, to be, in my honest opinion. But I was thinking maybe they could build a Lowe's here. What do you think about that? Now, I don't know how successful Lowe's is, but they're successful enough that they definitely are competing with the Home Depot. But that's just something I was thinking about. You know, we, have, we do have several hardware stores and outdoor stores or whatever but but we have plenty of grocery stores and plenty of uh, 
supermarkets in this area. There's only one Lowe's in the entire area, and that Lowe's is in Gatati, which is a pretty small town. If you actually were to check out the geography of Sonoma County, it would look like that. It would look like Roner Park swallowed Katati. It's like surrounding Katati. <laughs> it's so small. Roner Park like built this whole town around it. <laughs> the good news is for that Lowe's there, you can easily see it off the freeway. And there's an exit immediately right there in case you want to get to it. The bad news is, is anything that's built here could be kind of hard to get to because there isn't an exit for quite some time. <laughs> I mean, unless you're coming from that direction, there's an exit right there. But coming on this direction, no. There's an exit way the hell over there and way the hell over there, not right here. <laughs> the problem is I don't think there's really any way they can fix that unless they were to uh, shift the positioning of the road itself here so there'd be more room to have an exit in this area. But that would take a lot of work and I don't know if it'd even be worth it in the end. Although I do, although I do believe something has to be done because the exits here are too far apart. Um, not to mention there's a freeway entrance there without an exit. You can enter the freeway right over there, but you can't exit from the freeway over there. That's a problem. But yeah, those of you watching, what do you think about that? I'll describe uh, anybody who's not familiar with the area. So we do have the Home Depot over there in Bicentennial up the hill over there next to a Lucky's. But it's across the street and gotta go past Kaiser Permanente Hospital anyway. So there'd be enough distance between that Home Depot and the Lowe's here that I think this Lowe's would actually be able to be successful on its own. There's a Home Depot in uh, Windsor. I guess that could be the problem. That one's right there. It's at the, uh, right by the same Walmart I described was over there. Um, and then there's the Home Depot in Roanoke Park, which also happens to be by a Walmart in Roanoke Park. <laughs> um, then uh, nearby Cottingtown, the nearby Cottingtown Mall, down Cleveland Avenue. So this is Cleveland Avenue, the one that's stretched here along the freeway. This is Cleveland Avenue. It's a very long avenue, but you keep going down that direction more. Down, Cle uh, down Cleveland Avenue, several miles from here is an Osh. So there's an outdoor, you know, hardware store or whatever. But I think there'd be a little bit difference between that Osh and the Lowe's over here. So I, th I feel that it might be a good location. The only Lowe's in this area is in Katati. And, heck, I've only shopped there once, but it's a pretty nice store. I'll tell you this, uh, the only reason why I did shop there was because I actually was living on a low budget and wanted to go to vi visit stores based on price, so instead of visiting because it's closer to me, I decided when I looked up to find where to buy a trash can, <laughs> just a little just a little can to put in my room to throw out my you know, papers and garbage and stuff, uh, I found the cheapest one was actually at Lowe's. And it was the cheapest and best ones at Lowe's. So that was actually why I went to Lowe's to get, to get a specific trash can <laughs> because of the price. I looked, you know, I looked the deals up online and stuff. I don't see what did as much nowadays. I don't see really. I don't know. I just kind of just didn't care as much nowadays. But back then, I was living on a very low budget, so I felt like I really needed to be sure <laughs> to. find the best price on trash can and it was a decent size too for what for what my needs were anyways I don't know what you think about this idea 